Okay. Um, I think we're I think we're ready. Um, this is live, so I'm not sure exactly how this is gonna go, but um. Okay, now let me just state this again. This is a this is a quick start walkthrough guide to get you started in Elden Ring, uh, so that your character has some some somewhat decent stats before you go even to fight the first boss. Um, I've talked to so many people who are afraid to play this game because they think it's too hard. This quick start guide in one hour. You, you will have a, a an okay character. Um, you're still gonna have to, it's, it's not, you're not gonna cheese anything. Um, and I'm not really, I'm not really revealing any spoilers. I'm taking you to some places in the early section of the game before you even go into the first castle. Um, there is still so much of this game that you're gonna have to discover on your own. I'm not. I'm gonna skip a bunch of places that you'll have to discover on your own, even in the even in the starting area. Uh, so I'm I'm not gonna reveal everything to you. This is not that kind of walkthrough. I'm not gonna show you all the secrets. You're gonna have to discover those on your own. I'm gonna show you a a one hour path. You know, it might take you a little longer than one hour uh, because you should listen to all the NPC dialogue because there are clues and you should listen to all the dialogue. I'm going to skip through the dialogue so it just kind of rolls faster. But um, this is not this is not going to spoil your game. This is going to make the game more fun for you because you won't be struggling. You won't be constantly struggling. It's going to you're going to get all your basic needs. You're going to get your horse, you're going to get your spirit calling bell, you're going to get one decent weapon, you're gonna get some extra flasks, you're gonna get some uh, levels, and, uh, and then you can, then you're on your own. Then, then, then we're done and you can play the game, you can continue playing the game, and you'll still only be like 1%, 2% through the game. Uh, and you, you're all on your own after that. So, that's, that's the purpose of this walkthrough guide. Now, let's, uh, let's do it. Now I already have a version on YouTube, and um, several several of my friends said that it was good, but they but I should narrate it. So that's what we're doing tonight. I'm gonna be I'm doing this whole new playthrough over again from scratch, and I'm gonna narrate it. Now um, I am picking the samurai because the samurai already has a bleed weapon, and it has the longbow. Uh, so it's it's handy. Because I, I don't have to get either of those items. I don't have to go and get either of those items. The samurai comes with it. You need the bleed weapon because we're going to kill this big, huge, giant dragon. And you need the bleed weapon to kill the dragon. So we're going to get him. It's actually going to be her. Because I have a great little um, preset character that I'm going to use. Now you're not going to have this preset character, obviously, because I made her. But she's really cool. So I'm going to use her. So I'm going for type B, which is the girl. Uh, let's do, uh, this is, uh, walk through, you can spell Rob, really, walk through, damn it, Rob, 1.3, version 1.3, version 1.3, okay, that refers to my text file, ah, why is my nose always itching when I start stream, it's so weird, anyway, um, now, one thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down here to the keepsake. And you will select the golden seed. The golden seed uh, will give you an extra HP flask, which is very handy. It's more handy than I think any of those other things. So we're going to get the golden seed. Uh, and then we're done. Oh, wait. No, we're not done. We're not done. We need detailed appearance, and I need my... You'll you'll skip this step because you won't have this, or maybe you maybe you do. Whatever, maybe you have you maybe you've developed a character that you like. So I like this character. I made her. It took me hours to make her, but I think she's really cool. We're gonna go with her. So there we go. 
And now we're done. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna skip the intro. Intro is skipped. Here we go. Here's our new game. Let's let's rock and roll. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, get rid of the shield because I don't really want the shield, and we're just going to put this away. Whoops. What am I doing? Uh, okay. Not a pro gamer here. Just just FYI, I'm gonna grab this thing that we don't really need, but whatever, it's fine. Um, we're gonna go out, we're gonna go out the doors. Okay, it's 9.20 on the clock. Let's try to do this in an hour. Um, I don't I don't count the setup time as part of the hour, because whatever. Uh, you may want to spend some time making a changing your character's appearance or, or any of those things. Now this game this game is designed for you to die. It's it's just designed for you to die. There are cutscenes uh, right after this right after you die here, there are cutscenes where you meet Melina and she talks about you and, and what it's designed for you to die here. So we're just gonna go in and we're just gonna die as quickly as possible. I'm gonna get a couple swipes in on this guy and then he's just gonna kill me. All right, so we're dead. We're dead, but that's, that's meant to happen. So you wanna just go and do that. Now here we are with the second cutscene. And uh, man, I'll, just, I'll just let this start for a little bit. Uh, we'll, just, we'll just let this play for a couple seconds. You wake up in this in this area. There, there I am. There's my character. She's she's passed out. Um, and uh, standing over her in kind of a creepy way is Melina. She's she's uh, on her horse that she's going to give to you. She's going to give you the horse. Um, and the, you know, because the horse likes you. Don't worry, Torrin. Yeah, so there's Melon, and we'll meet her later. I'm gonna skip this rest of the scene, because we're gonna jump into it. Alright, and here we are. Now, um... Here we are. We're in this, uh, we're in this cavern, and we're just gonna run up here. We're just gonna run up here, and we're gonna open these doors. Run up these steps. And we're gonna get the first grace. So this is a grace. This is like the bonfires in Souls games. This is an area on your map. If you look at your map, you have the first one. You don't really have anything else on your map, but you have this first location. Uh, and now we're gonna run back the way we came. So we're just gonna run back down to our starting location. And run back down here. And we're gonna go over here to this cliff, and we're gonna look down. And there's a there's a sub there's a little middle middle section here. We're gonna jump down, and we're gonna jump down again. And we're just gonna go get this grace down here. Why are we doing this? It's because I want both graces. Now you can continue down this cavern uh, that's in front of me. That is the tutorial area. And if you have no idea how to fight and use your weapon and all that kind of stuff. You can go down there, uh, it's fine, but we're not going to do that. We're going to go to the map, and now we're going to jump back to the first position, the first grace. Okay, and here we are, back in that room we were in just a minute ago. I'm going to run over here, and I'm going to grab this thing, which isn't really important for this game at all anyway, but, well, the game I'm playing, maybe for you, but um, those, are, those, are, those are things for co-op, which we're not playing co-op here, so. Oh, look. 
Isn't she cool? Anyway, we're gonna go up here and we're gonna walk outside. And here you go. Now look at this amazing land. We are in Limgrave. We are in this amazing land. And if this is the first time you've played this game, uh, you should really go explore because it's really amazing. But we're gonna, I'm gonna show you um, what to do first. So we're gonna come over here and uh, we're gonna get this next grace. And now you'll see on the map, now we have three. Now we're here. And we're gonna go over and talk to this guy. Now this guy has a bunch of stuff to say and I'm gonna skip through most of it, but you should listen to everything he says because he gives you a lot of clues. Oh yes, tarnished are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Of course you have. Now I'm just gonna skip through his dialogue. You are fit. Now, when he ends, that's not all of his dialogue, so you need to press Y again and talk to him again. You, however, now he's going to say even more stuff. And we're going to press talk again. Grace's guidance will rip the castle stop. And he's going to give you more clues. And we're going to talk to him again. It's time you set off, I should think. To Castle Stormvale. If you... And then, okay, so now he's repeating himself. So now we know once he's repeating himself or once any of the NPCs are repeating themselves, then you know you've heard all the dialogue. So, um, and I, again, I do encourage you to listen to everyone's dialogue because they give you lots of cool clues you need to play the game. Um, let's see, now over there is a guy who is just way, you are way under level to fight that guy you will struggle, unless you are a pro gamer, uh, like, you know, Asmond or someone, uh, unless you're like a pro gamer, you're not gonna do real well against that guy. He's gonna kill you a hundred times. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to that church, but we're gonna run around this way. We're gonna run around the side here. And we're just gonna avoid him for now. We can say hi to the sheep. Hey, sheep. I'm just gonna run over here. Because we don't want to face that guy right now. He's just, he's too much trouble. <clears throat> we're going to go in here and we're going to meet, uh, we're going to meet Var. Uh, is that his name? No. Yeah. Wait. It's Santa Claus. It's Santa Claus, but it's, he has a name. What's his name? You're a tarnished. I can see it. But I can also see that you're not after my throat. Then why not? I am Kale. Oh, Kale, that's right. Var, Var is the other guy. Okay. I, I get everything mixed up. I get all the names mixed up. That's Kale. Okay. He's, he's like Santa Claus. Um, he sells stuff to you. And he's very important. Uh, we're going to listen to more, more of his dialogue. I'm just going to skip through it, though. And he's got a recommendation. You know... If you can spare the rules, you should buy yourself a, a crafting kit. Essential. The kit costs but the import. Uh, but you know what? We're, we don't. We can't buy anything right now because we don't have any money. So um, we're just gonna go over here and we're gonna grab this thing, which is a smithing stone, which uh, upgrades your weapons. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna grab this grace. Okay. All right, and now we got that grace. Now let's look at the map. There's our grace right there, and there's Merchant Kali. So that's where we are. That's the grace we just got. And if you look at the map over here, you see this symbol, this symbol right here. That's where you find um, map fragments that will, that will uncover areas of your map. Because right now you can't really see any detail. But once we go here and we get this map fragment, it will uncover your map. So we're gonna now you have uh, R1, R2. Um, yeah, so and then I think this has it. Okay, that's fine. Whatever, it's fine. 
We're just gonna we're just gonna go up here and we're just gonna use some R1s to kill this guy. All right, these these guys are pretty easy, and we're just gonna pick up whatever he was holding. It's gonna be random. It's gonna be different every game. It's gonna it's like random stuff. But these guys these guys will be in the same spot. Uh, we're gonna go over and kill this guy. And then I'm just using R1s, man. I'm just spamming R1s. These guys are pretty easy. Uh, let's just run over to this guy. Alright, alright. And there's other guys over in the woods. Y you can go get those other guys. There's caves over there. There's a lot to explore that we just skipped. But that's for you to do. That's That's... I'm not showing you everything, and that's how this guide works. I'm just, I'm going to help you get the basics so you don't struggle. That's what we're here to do. Let's get this next grace. And this grace. Now we're going to go, and now we're going to rest at the grace. So we're going to hit Y or whatever button it is on your controller. I'm using an Xbox controller, so with my mine's Y. Um, and now there's going to be a cutscene where Melina comes and talks to us again. And I'm going to skip it. You can watch it. It's awesome. I'm going to skip it. There she is. Now she's going to tell us some stuff. The finger maidens. And I'm going to kind of skip through this. But you, I can play the role turning you, she's going to be our maiden. You need only to the foot of and we're going to agree to help her. Then it's settled. Summon me. Yeah, and then she's going to give us... This ring. She's going to give us the ring to call our horse, Torrent. Use it. It will sound Torrent has chose treat. And I'm just going to skip through that. And then also, over on the side here, you'll see there's a little glowing dot next to flasks. That means we can upgrade our flasks. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to add a charge to the flask. Now this is from the Golden Seed that we chose as our starting uh, thingy or whatever. And so we're going to upgrade our flasks. And then we're going to leave the thing here. We're just gonna leave. And Melanith disappears. Now, I'm gonna go into my menu and I'm gonna go over to the right hand side. And I like to use this one, the down the D-pad down, and I'm going to click uh, Y to switch the function, and I'm going to choose the the spectral speed whistle for calling the horse, and I'm going to select that. So now I have a shortcut on my controller where I can just call the horse anytime I want. And so that's that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go through this camp. Now I'm not going to fight these guys. I don't want to fight these guys. I want to go through here as quickly as possible. So we're going to sneak around behind them. Uh, let's see if I can do this. I'm going to crouch down. Okay, that guy is walking away. So that's good. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to grab the map. I'm going to crouch down. I'm going to walk over here. Uh, I'm going to try to sneak around these dogs without them seeing me. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to jump down this hole. Okay, one of the dogs saw me, but whatever. Uh, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to open this. This is one of the essential items you need. Not that. That's kind of... Eh, I never use it. But this thing, the whetstone knife, this lets you add skills to your weapons. So we definitely need that. Um, okay, and that's all we need from this camp. We're gonna run out of here, but we're gonna run the opposite direction. We're gonna run by these guys and not fight any of them. We're just gonna run over here and we're gonna get this next grace. And we're gonna grab the grace, and if any of those guys are chasing us, which they're not, um, you could rest at the grace. We're gonna rest at the grace anyway. Now it should be nighttime. You see there up at the top it says night. That's good. Uh, if it's not nighttime, you're going to pass time until it's nighttime because you need it to be nighttime. When we look at our map, our newly acquired map, 
and we're going to warp back to the church where the merchant is located. We're going to warp. We're going to warp back here at night because this way tarnished. May I have a word? Oh, we get to meet Ronnie, who calls herself Rena, but she's lying. She's Ronnie the witch. A pleasure to meet thee, tarnished. I am the witch Rena. I'd heard tell of a tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed. And upon looking into the matter, the talk, I surmise, is of thee. Thou art possessed of the power, no? To call forth a spectral steed named Torrent. I sure am. Ah, as I had hoped, I was entrusted this for thee by Torrent's former master. All right, now we have this. And we have our wolf ashes, which is super cool. Tis a bell of calling forth spirits. Now I'm just gonna fast forward through the rest of her conversation, and she's gonna talk one more time. Forgive mine intrusion, tarnished. I doubt we how long will it be before the ta And then she disappears. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna run over here and we're going to rest at this grace. Again, because we've been here before, obviously. But this time. If you look down at the menu, there's a little glowing dot next to talk to Melina. So we're going to talk to Melina again. This tiny golden aura is the glistening. Now I'm going to skip through her stuff, but you should listen to what she has to say. She has clues for you. And look, it's still a glowing dot, so she's going to talk again. Upon the cliff in Castle Stormvale. And she tells you some useful information. As an ally by Pi, pray to face the and we're good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pass time until morning. Because we want it to be daytime. And then that con that completes part one of our, of our uh, walkthrough. Uh, it is 9.37, so that's supposed to take 10 minutes. We spent a little longer. We spent uh, 17 minutes because I was talking mostly um, and not just kind of doing it, but whatever. That's how, I think that's how this is going to go. It's going to go a little longer than, than my previous video because I'm, I'm narrating and stuff, but we'll see. Um, so now we're at part B of my walkthrough. And uh, let's see what we got here. Um, okay. Let's see what we're doing. We're going to jump to our map. Wait, do we? Is it morning? Hold on a second. It is morning. Okay, cool. We're going to warp. We're going to look at our map. And we're going to go back to this grace here. All right, now we're going to face southeast. And we're going to call our horse. I really like that this game has a compass. It's really, really useful when you're trying to tell people what direction to head in. Past this little telescope here, we're going to go over here and we're going to pick this up. And there's some guy talking and it's this guy over here. And we're just going to jump into this tree. Whoops. Yeah, you there. Hold on. Pretending. There we go. What'd you go and do that for? So this guy was turned into a tree, so we just rescued him. Let's hear what he has to say. Oh yes, some Claude. You will just thank you. The name's Bok. This is Bok. So you can. We're just releasing him from his spell right now. Uh, you can. You can uh, help him with his quest line later. That's up to you. He gave us some mushrooms. That was pretty nice of him. Considering he doesn't have anything. Right. Okay, so now he's repeating himself, so so that's it. Um, you can go, and we're not doing his quest line. Uh, but you can, so you can go back and you can find him and you can do his quest line. Because uh, it's, it's kind of interesting. We're going to get back on the road. Which way am I going? I'm lost. Hold on a second. Back to the road, back to the road. 
There's the road. Okay. Southeast. Southeast. We're going southeast. Okay. Here we go. There's some stuff over there. There's some soldiers you can kill. There's that thing there you can get, but we're not interested in that right now. We're going to get this thing off the bridge. And we're going to go over here. And we're going to jump up here. And we're going to get this thing out of the, off this dead guy in the chair. And then we're going to look over there, and there's a, there's a crucifix. And there's a guy behind me on horseback who's trying to kill me, but we're going to ignore him. See that cross up there? We're going to go around the hill. Uh, we're going to go around the hill, up here to the top of the hill. And there's a really important thing we need. It's right by the, it's right by the cross, and we're just going to run by and we're going to grab it. There we go. The gold pickled foul foot. That's super important. We're going to need that later. Um, and we're just going to... Uh, now, we're going we're gonna to go back the way we came. So there is the bridge that we just crossed a minute ago. Um, before, right before the bridge, we're going to make a right down this dirt road. And now we're heading north. We're going to just kind of run by these guys. They're going to try to kill us, but that's fine. We're just going to run by them. Um, there's a guy on a horse that's going to try to kill us. We're just going to run by him. There's dudes firing arrows at us. We're just going to ignore all of that. We're just going to keep going down the road. Because that's how we're rolling. And we're just going to keep going down this path. When you get to about here, you should see the next grace. There it is over there. There it is. We're going to grab this grace. And uh, if you look around, there's... Look, there's no one chasing me. Because I just uh, kept riding the horse. And uh, we're good. And you know what? It's it's getting kind of hot. We're going to... Um, it's getting kind of hot. I'm going to take off this helmet. This is just really hot. We don't need it right now. There we go. Now you can see my now you can see my cute character. She's she's pretty cute. Anyway, let's get on the let's get on the horse. And uh, we're going to continue down that road. There's a bunch of cavemen type guys in here. We're just going to ignore them. We're just going to ride through their little party. We're going to grab that magic grease. Now there's a guy talking up on top of that uh, fallen stone structure, whatever it is. We're going to come back to him later. We're just we're ignoring him for now. We're going to we're going to come back to him later. He's just like blah blah blah. I'm the great Kenneth Height. Blah 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 blah. He loves to talk. Uh, we're going to go talk to him later. We're just going to ride past that giant, and we're going to ride right into this church where he can't get us. We'll get that grace in a second. First, we're going to grab this thing. This is super important. Not so much the crystal steer, but this thing, the flask of wonder wondrous physic. You definitely need this. This is a huge part of the game. This thing right here. Um, so now we have it. And then there's another thing over here. So this is another upgrade for flasks here. We're going to grab it. And now that we have those two things, now we'll grab the grace. And let's rest at this grace. And now you see there's two things we can do. Let's upgrade our flasks first. And this time, instead of adding a flask, we're adding the amount replenished by the flask. That's what those golden cup things are called, or that's what those golden cup things do. Um, I forget what they're called. Whatever. Um, you'll see. All right. Cool. And then, and then we'll talk to Melina. Here she is. She's going to tell us a bunch of stuff. Me. I'm searching. She's searching. She's going to tell you all about what she's searching for and blah, blah, blah. And we're going to talk to her again. Spoken echoes linger here. 
words if you wish. And we're gonna, yeah, we're interested in hearing what she has to say. Very well. My lord, now you guys should listen to all this because she's giving you clues, she's telling you stuff. Um, but we're good for now. And we're gonna get up. Now, in this corner, we're going to jump over this corner here and we're gonna run behind the church to this little creek. And there is a hidden thing back here, and this is one of the few little hidden things that I'm going to show you because it's really important to getting your character to where it needs to be. But there are many other hidden things in this game, so I'm just going to show you this one. This is a hidden transporter, and this is going to take me to another place in the map. Oh, look! We're at this weird place. Now, if we look at the map, we will see that we are way up here. We were down here, and this is the area of the map that we have uncovered so far. And now we have, trans we have been transported all the way up here. It's not important where we are right now, but just what we need to do. So we're going to go in here. And we're going to ignore that guy for now, and we're just going to get this grace. And we're going to rest at the grace. And Mel is going to talk to us again. Forgive me. I've been testing you to determine if the Elden Ring would truly have you if you had the metal to endure this long and arduous path. It we do, because we're doing this walkthrough guide. We, we have, we do, we I have everything we need. Or we'll, we're gonna have everything we need. So anyway, here we go. Place. She's gonna take us to the round table hold and we're gonna let her do that. Very well. Let my hand rest upon you for but a moment. Now, here at the round table hold, there are a lot of people to talk to. There's a guy there, there's a guy sitting down, there's a guy standing over there, there's another guy over there. And you need to talk to all these people, and there's a lot of things to learn here, there's a lot of things to do in here. We're not going to do any of it, because we don't need to talk to any of these people right now. We just need, we just wanted to get access to the round table hold, which we now have. So now we're going to go to the map, and we're going to go all the way back to the place we were just a minute ago. The Bestial Sanctum! Okay. Uh, now we're gonna go out. Now that is a big enemy, and he is brutal, and we don't want to fight him right now, uh, but you can come back and fight him later. He stands guard over the Bestial Sanctum, and he is a... He is a boss, I guess. He's not like one of the main bosses, but he is kind of a boss because you, don't, you only have to fight him once. Once you kill him, he doesn't, he doesn't respawn. Uh, but he's super powerful, and we don't want to mess with him right now, so we're just going to kind of quietly kind of just, just kind of go around him. Uh, and we're going to go down here. Now these little tiny enemies, these little midget guys, are super brutal and we want to stay away from them. We're going to go by here and we're going to grab this golden seed. Which will give us another flask upgrade and we're going to go around that guy because he's going to kill us. Um, and we're going to go down here to this next grace. Okay, and now we're going to get back on our horse, now that we have that grace. Now we are going to go down here, and we are going to go by one of my favorite dragons in the game. This dragon is beautiful, I love him. Most of the time I don't even kill him because I just love him so much. Uh, and we're just going to ride through his legs, um, and try not to die. Because this is his bridge. 
And uh, he doesn't like us being on his bridge. Um, so we're just going to keep riding. And we're going to take a sharp left here. And now we're safe. Now we're safe from the dragon because he does not leave his bridge. Um, even though the music's still playing and all that. We're safe, we're safe, we're safe. At this graveyard, we're going to get some money. We're going to... These, these, uh, these tombs have some money. We're going to go pick up the money. Um, let's see. Did I miss any? Oh, there's one. Okay. Just go buy all the graves and uh, collect all the money because we're going to use that later. There's one more, isn't there? Yeah, there's one over here. Okay. Okay, over here is a spirit spring. It's like a little mini tornado kind of thing, and you can jump into it with your horse and you won't die from the height. Just kind of lets you float down to the ground without dying, uh, which is nice. So we're going to go over here and we're, we're going to get this grace. And we can... Uh, we can rest with grace. And we can upgrade our flasks again. And there's nothing else to do. So let's go over here. And let's get back on our horse. Alright, now here's what we're going to do. I'm, I'm going to show you this one little secret here with this house. Um, you're going to go over here to the spirit spring. A little mini tornado thing. And we're going to point towards the house. If I can get my horse to point the right direction, which is really annoying. All right, I'm just going to jump and then point the horse in the air. All right, uh, we want to land on the roof. Perfect. Okay, so then we want to very carefully slide down this side of the roof on foot. And we land in the balcony, and then we can just run up these stairs. There are no enemies up here. We can just run up here. And we will take the elevator up. And then out here are some stairs with no railings, clear OSHA violation. Uh, so just hug the hug the side of the building. Uh, and then in here is a is a memory stone. This lets you memorize spells and incantations which can be very handy later, depending on what kind of playthrough you want to do. There are many more of those throughout the game, uh, so I'm just showing you one of them. Each one of these houses has a different puzzle or riddle to solve. Um, so I'm just showing you the one. Um, that trick that I just showed you is going to be different. It's, it's a different different puzzle. Oh, I just did a bad thing. Actually, I don't need to go anywhere. I can just... We can just warp back to that grace, which is right next to the house. So let's just warp back there. Instead of trying to go all the way. I shouldn't even have taken the elevator. I should have just warped from the... from When I was up at the very top of the treasure chest, I should have just warped. Okay, now we need to take this little uh, spirit spring up again, but back to the graveyard where we were, so we can just jump back to the graveyard. And now we're going to keep going uh, southwest down this path. Now, see that big, huge tree in the distance? That's our, that's our destination, but we want to stay to the left because there is a really powerful enemy on the right, and we don't want to mess with him right now. We want to stay to the left. We're just going to stay to the left of the tree. And we're going to go over here. And there's another spirit spring. And we're just going to jump and go up. Okay. Okay. We're gonna run over here and we're gonna get this we're gonna get this grace by this castle. Ah, come on. It's over here by the entrance to the castle. There it is.
Now, if we look over there, there is a giant, giant, giant dragon, and it is sleeping. And we are going to slowly kill it. We are going to slowly kill this dragon with our little tiny sword. And we're just going to start whacking away at this thing. And these are like little tiny paper cuts to this dragon. Uh, and so it doesn't really care. But we're going to, we're basically going to, and it's going to, you'll hear him roar. But he's not going to wake up. He's not going to attack you. He's just, he's just kind of mildly annoyed. But what we're doing is we're going to kill him with a million paper cuts. And you can see that we're doing hardly any damage at all. Now look at my I'm with my stamina bar. So as I do a bunch of hits, my stamina bar, the green bar, goes down. Uh, and then I'm like out of breath, basically. So I need to wait a couple seconds for my stamina bar to go back up, and then I can just do a bunch more strikes. I could use I could use R twos. Um, whichever way you want to do it. Uh, I think the R2s are actually slower. I haven't really timed it. The R2s take longer, and I can, whereas R1s, I can just, just go like this. Anyway, you can see that we're slowly getting his, his, uh, health bar is slowly going down. And then every maybe 20 hits, it goes down by a big chunk. That's because we did bleed. That's because we, we got a bunch of bleed on him. So it just went down a big chunk just there. And I'm letting my stamina go back up. And I'm just doing some more hits. I'm sure there will be people who will say, oh, there's a faster way to do this. Oh, there's a better way to do this. Oh, you can do this better if you do this, and blah, 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 blah. It doesn't matter. This takes like five minutes. Uh, it's not It's not a huge deal. It takes like, I don't know, maybe five or six minutes. I, I don't... It's not... We're getting his bar down. And the thing is, we have to wait until we get his bar down to the last, like, 10%. Oh, I need to let my stamina go back up. There we go. Now I can get multiple hits in. See, when, when my stamina was all the way down, I could only do like one hit at a time. Okay, stamina... Okay, now, you see, um, I think we got his health down to about 10%. Okay, now here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to our menu, and we're going to go to our inventory, and we're going to see this pickle foul foot. Now, we only have one of these. This is the thing we picked up later, but now we're going to use it. We're going to munch on that. Now we are enhanced for three minutes. For three minutes, anything we kill will give us, I think, 20% more runes. So we need to kill this dragon in, within the next three minutes. And then we will get 20% more runes, which will be a huge, huge increase. Because this dragon is going to give us a ton of, uh, a ton of uh, runes. Oh, we almost have him. We almost have him. Just a couple more. We almost have him. 
He's almost down. A million paper cuts. And the dragon is going down. Come on. I think that's it. I think that's it. Now watch my runes. Watch my runes in the bottom uh, bottom corner. Watch my runes. Ninety six thousand. There we go. And we have a dragon heart, which we can use later. But we're not we're not using that in this walkthrough. You'll you'll discover how to use those later. We're gonna go back over here to the grace. And we are going to rest at the grace. And we are going to level up. And here is what we're going to do. We're going to take, I'm going to turn off the, let's see, let's see, let me turn off my face for a second. Uh, and so here's what we're doing. We are raising Vigor to 25. We are leaving Mind alone. We are raising Endurance to 15. We are raising Strength to 18. We are raising Dexterity to 20. Now, this gives us a lot more survivability, a lot more HP to survive fights. This gives us a little bit more endurance, uh, so we can carry uh, we can carry a heavier weapon. Uh, this gives us some strength and dexterity, so we can wield a heavier weapon. And these things we're not worried about right now. So that's what we're doing. We are now we are bringing this that killing that one dragon allowed us to get up to level thirty five, and these stats are going to be really good for us. These stats are really all you need to fight the first main boss. Um, you should not have a hard time at all uh, with these stats. So we're going to do that. Now that ends part B of my walkthrough. Um, let's do part C. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Now, since we're here at this castle, we might as well get the item in this castle that is really, really important, uh, especially for later in the game. We will need that item much later in the game. Uh, and since we're here, let's go grab it. This is a difficult, this is not an easy castle, but what we're going to do is we're just going to run past everything. We're just going to go in here and we're going to run. We're gonna run in here, we're gonna run over here, we're gonna run through here, we're gonna run around this big guy, and we're just gonna run up the ladder. Now we're gonna get poisoned. Oh, I just barely made it. So I did it fast enough so I didn't get poisoned. But normally, normally you get poisoned. Hey Sandpiper, welcome in. I'm doing a little narration of my, uh, of my walkthrough guide. Uh, you're one of the people that suggested I do a narration, so that's what we're doing. Um, in this chest is an important piece that we need for later. Half of the Dectus Medallion. The right half of the Dectus Medallion. We need the left half, and we're going to get that in a minute. So that's good. Um, we don't need to... Now, you could go on, and you could go down here, and you could do the rest of this castle. And there's some other things to get here, but we're not going to do that right now. I'm going to leave that for you. You can come back here and do that on your own. What we're going to do is... We are going to go to, um, we're, going. we're going back to the first part of the map that we uncovered some of, and we're going to this grace here called the Mistwood Outskirts.
Now, we were here before. Let's see. We were here before, and we rode down the road, uh, and we heard some guy yelling. There was some guy yelling, and we just rode by. But now we're going to go up and talk to him. He is up here, up on top of this structure, and we're just going to go up here. Someone who might be interested in rescuing the great Kenneth Height. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Kenneth Height. And celebrated repudiator, the false. Uh, this guy is, this guy is a piece of work, but we're going to talk to him anyway. Ah, you've come to lend me your aid, have you? Well, that's, that's very kind, but, um, no. No, but the help is very much appreciated, even from a tarnished. Yeah, this guy's a dick. He, he's just a total dick, but we're gonna listen to him anyway. I'm just gonna fast. I'm just gonna fast forward through his through his dialogue, and he has more stuff to say. So we're just gonna. Um, he's just a typical. Uh, he's just a dick. Yes. Now, allow me to furnish you with a little advice. Yeah, 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 bro. I, I just. Then he in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He tells you some interesting things. What are you waiting for? A kiss goodbye? My fort lies to the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's it. What are you waiting for? A kiss goodbye? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, all right. Screw you, bro. I'm going to go rescue your fort, but uh, just because I want what's in it, not because of you. Um, so we're going to go in the direction of that tree. See that tree, that big tree in the distance? We're going to go in that direction. And we're gonna we're gonna go around this bear. Oh, did I go around the bear? All right, we got the map. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Now I'm gonna sneak. Okay. There's lots of bears in these woods, and they are they are really ferocious, and they will kill you instantly. I'm gonna sneak over here. Ever so gently, and uh, get this thing here. Okay, very good, very good. Now we're gonna go back towards the tree. See the big tree? We're gonna—that's the direction we're going. We're gonna go around to the right of the tree, and in this little dish is another thing that's important. Um, some spike crack tier and some green spill crystal tier. This, this one is good. This increases your stamina for three minutes. Um, like if you're fighting a boss or something, it's, it's very useful. Um, now I think we need to go southwest. I'm looking at my guide. Uh... Okay, we're gonna go over here. Southwest. All right, we're going the right way. We're going the right way. Yes, yes, okay. So southwest from the tree is this ruins. This uh, mistwood ruins or whatever it is. Um, okay, so we're gonna get off our horse. And there's another bear over here and he's sleeping. And you do not wanna wake this bear. So we're gonna go over here and we're gonna just jump down. And we're going to run down in the cellar. And there's a thing down here that, that's really good to have. This is an axe talisman. This enhances, I believe this enhances charged attacks. Um, let's just go look at that real quick. Wait, where is it? Where was it? Oh, okay. Enhances charge attacks. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so I was correct. All right. All right, all right. Let's go up here. Let's not wake the bear. Um, 
Okay, there's howling. Hear the howling? There's howling. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, uh, southeast. We're going to go southeast now. We're going to go this way. Southeast from the ruins. There's a road over here. Yes, there it is. We're going to follow this road for a little bit. And there's a grace over here, and we're going to get this grace. This is going to be an important point that we're going to warp back to several times, so we need to grab it now. And now we're going to warp back to our buddy, Santa Claus. Um, so we have a new map now. Um, so now we can see there's we've uncovered even more of this land. Uh, but we're going to warp back over here to our, our Santa Claus friend, uh, Merchant Cali. And we're going to talk to him. And we're going to buy some stuff. Alrighty, let's go over here and talk to this guy. He's got some stuff to tell us. Wait, weren't you... Well, you're back. Care to buy something? Uh, yeah, but first I want to know about the howling I heard in the Mistwood. The howl of a wolf. In the Mistwood. I suppose he must still be skulking about. I know. Why not meet him for yourself? Next time you hear the wolf's howl, make this signal right under the source. Oh, don't fret. There is nothing to fear. I just have an inkling the two of you might hit it off. Yep, so we got that. Um, and now we're going to um, talk a little bit more to him. There are others of my people who yet survive if the And I'm just going to fast forward through his dialogue, but you should listen to it because it's really interesting. Your people, the top. And now we're going to buy some stuff. Now here's what we're going to buy. We're going to buy this crafting kit. We're going to buy this Warrior's Cookbook 1. We're going to buy the Warrior's Cookbook 2. We're going to buy the Missionary's Cookbook 1. And uh, that's done. Perhaps you don't need to hear this, but we have a sentiment not your solitude. Expect no sympathy. This is a good little no this is a good little talk it's here. Our code, so to speak, just the way we are. Deeply unforgiving. I'm glad you took my warning to heart. You've made an excellent choice. Thanks, bro. Now we're gonna warp back to the grace we just got. Beforehand. And then here is where uh Blythe and the Mistwood ruins are. But we're gonna, so we're going to work back here. And then we're going to go meet Blythe. He is this way. He is northwest from the Grace. It's going to ride through stuff. There's a guy over here taking a pee, I think. Oh, we disturbed him. Um, anyway, I think he was just taking a pee in the bushes. I don't, I'm really not sure, but it, that's what it looked like. Uh, we're going to go over here. Okay, we don't need to worry about the bear. We're not, we're not, we've already done the cellar, so let's just go over here. And um, there's, a, there's a thing in here we can grab. There's a smithing stone in here. It's not super, super important, but it's it's just nice to collect all these things. While we're here, uh, let's see, we'll go out this way. We're going to go around to the right. Um, there's a little break in the wall here. We're going to jump over that. I mean, we could walk around too, but whatever. And we're going to stand right here. And we're going to do our finger snap thingy. Let's go over to the right-hand side and go down to here. I'm going to hit switch. And then the finger snap is here. And I'm going to go back and then we're going to do this finger snap. And there he is. Look at that. Mr. Eight Foot Tall Wolf Dude. 
Hey, bro. Who goes there? Kali sent you, did he? Ever the bloody busybody. Hmm. Maybe to him you don't seem so strange. The name's Blythe. I'm looking for a man who goes by Darrowell. He fled somewhere nearby. Or so I've heard. Come tell me if you find him before I do. I, I sure will, bro. Reward. Darrowell is nothing but a traitor. And in need of a fitting end to his tale. Darrowell is nothing but Okay, so he's repeating himself now, so we're so we're done. Um and now we're going to warp back to here. And we're gonna rest at the grace for a second. Because we're gonna change this to we're gonna hit past time, and we're gonna change it until morning. There we go. Now we can see where we're going. Um, we are going to ride in that direction over there. So we are riding southwest. Uh, so let's do it. Yeah, this is taking a lot longer with me talking, but whatever. Now there is a graveyard over here where you can collect some runes, but you can come back and do that on your own because you will have to fight off this pack of wolves. And we're not going to bother with them right now. There are more of them, and they all come running. They will all join the fight. There's two more there. There's a couple more up here. They were all. They will all join the fight and fight fight you. There's a couple sleeping over there. there I think there's like eight wolves. We're going to just ignore them. Um, we don't really. We don't really need the runes right now. We're doing other things. Down to the left is the entrance to the Weeping Peninsula. We're not going there during this uh, guide, but that is a really cool place that you should definitely explore. Uh, we're going to be going this way. We're going to go up the road here um, until we can turn left. As soon as we can turn left, we're going to make a U-turn and go up the hill. And here is our destination. And we're gonna go in this thing. All right, now this is your first, this is the first mini boss fight. Um, however, we're gonna have Blythe come and help us. So you see that little, uh, see that little thing on the ground that lets us call Blythe to help us. So we're gonna hit okay. And then we're going to step back. And this is also how you summon people to come help you in co-op. Uh, but this guy is uh, built into the game, so you can always summon him here for this fight. And we're going to go over here and he's going to help you kill this guy. Now, I don't want to die, so I'm going to take a flask. And we got him. So that was super easy. And now we have an awesome weapon. Now we have a really, really good weapon, the Bloodhound's Fang. Let me turn my cam back on. Now we have a really good weapon. Oh, let's go talk, let's go over here and talk to Blythe because he's going to give us a little uh, reward as well. <sighs> right. There you are. Not to work for it, but it's done. Don't say I'm not a man of my word. Here's your prize. This is also useful. Let's oh, talk yes. to him. I should say, if you venture north to Rhea Lucaria, 
and come tell him I sent you. And he'll be sure to treat you right. I owe you one, I reckon. That's enough chit chat for now. It's time we parted ways. That's enough. It's time we parted ways. Okay, all right. So he's good. Now we want to head uh, north. Let's see. Let's line my compass up with north. There's another grace down here we want to grab in case we want to um, warp back here later. Like if you want to go to the Weeping Peninsula, for example, you can warp back to this grace. Or I also recommend going over there. See that thing there? You can go inside it. You can go underneath it and there's a guy in there that you can talk to. There's uh, There's some... There's some giant crabs over there you can fight. There's a dragon in that lake. There's a whole bunch of stuff you can do on your own, but we're not doing any of that right now. Uh, let's see. Next, we're going to... Um, uh, okay, so we did that, we did that, we did that. I'm just looking at my guide. Uh, we're going to warp back to... Okay, we're going to warp back to Santa Claus... And um, the Church of Ella. Let's look at our map. We're going to warp back over here to the Church of Ella in our merchant, Calais. I, he's, he's like Santa Claus. Um, and now what we're going to do... Let me, uh, let me turn my cam off real quick. Because we're going to go into the menu. And we're going to go to equipment. And now we're going to... Where's my... Oh, we're going to select my Uchigatana and we're going to replace it with the Bloodhound's Fang, which is the awesome sword we just got. This sword is good enough to take you through the entire game. I, I used this sword all the way through to, to finish the game um, a couple times. Uh, in, a, in like two of my playthroughs, I used this sword. It was just, it's just an, ama it's an amazing sword. So we're going to select that. Now, this sword has a dex requirement of 17, a strength requirement of 18, which we meet. Um, it's also heavier, but we've also upgraded our, our endurance a little bit, so we are still uh, un at medium load. If you look over on the right under equip, equip load, we're still at medium load where, while carrying this sword, so we're good. We are certainly good. Um... I can even put my helmet back on, uh, and we're still at medium load with the helmet on. I'm just leaving the helmet off for right now, so. Um, now that we have our new sword, we're going to go over here to the smithing table, and we're gonna, we have two stones to upgrade it. So let's use the smithing table, and we can upgrade our sword to plus one and plus two. And we can also upgrade our bow to plus one. And then we're done with this. Um, now let me just show you how this sword works really quick. Because a lot of people don't realize... Okay, so here's the R1. Pretty normal. R1. R2. R2. And But that's not why, that's not why this weapon is cool. This weapon is cool because the L2... Does that. Here's the L2. And then another people another thing people don't realize is there is a follow-up attack. It looks like this. Whoops. Nope, no, hold on, I did it wrong. There we go. So it's L2 R2. So it's L2 R2. So it's L2, and then you gotta wait till you flip back and land, and then R2. So one more time. L2, R2. Why didn't it work that time? Well, because we ran out of FP. See the blue bar in the middle is empty. So let me go to my potion and fill it back up. Now we can do L2, R2. L2, 
R2. That's how that weapon works. Now I'm gonna fill up my, I wanna, uh, let's see. I'm gonna go to, um, oh, where do we go next? Oh, we're gonna go back to Fort Height. So we're gonna go back over here for a third time. Um. Okay. Gonna get on the horse. We're gonna actually go into Fort Height now. We're gonna ride around, make a U-turn, and go up this path. Now there's a guy up there shooting arrows. So we want to kind of zigzag through the through the barricades here, so we, the arrows don't hit us. And we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna go by this tree and get another golden seed. And then we're going to let these guys chase us. We're gonna let these guys chase us. And see that big pumpkin head guy? He's coming down the stairs. So we want him to come down the stairs. Uh, so then we can go over here and jump up. Now we don't have to fight those guys and we can just run in here and we're gonna just kind of zigzag around and avoid the people throwing firebombs at us and kind of run around up here and run around and we're gonna come over here and we're gonna kill this guy and we're gonna run around and we're gonna come up here and we're gonna kill this guy and we're gonna run past this guy and now we're gonna target him and We're gonna use those moves I just showed you. And he is dead. Now again, I am not a pro gamer and I made that kind of look easy, but with this weapon, it actually is easy. And I got hit a couple times, but we also upgraded our HP. So we survived and we were able to get this guy. Um, while we're here, let's grab this thing. Whoops, wrong button. See, I'm always hitting the wrong buttons. All right, so we got some blood rose. Um, not super useful at the moment, but let's go up here. The treasure in this building is up here. Let's go up this ladder. And oh look, there's a chest. Let's see what's in it. Oh look, it's the left half of the Dectus Medallion. Now we have both halves. Look at that. How cool is that? Let me turn my cam back on. Hello. Look, we have both halves. We have both halves of the medallion. Look at that. How cool is that? Anyway. Now, while we're up here... We're gonna warp back to the Grace, and I'm gonna show you a little trick. Because now that we've defeated the main enemy in that castle, everyone else left. We defeated that knight up on the top, and everyone was everyone else was like, fuck this, I'm out. So when we go back here. There's no. There's no dude up there shooting arrows anymore. I mean, there's an arrow thing up there, but no one's there shooting arrows. Um, there's no guys down here. There's no one in here. Throwing shit at us. There's just no one in here. It's, it, they've, they've left. Grab this. There was one more important thing we need in here, and it's in this little, it's in this little closet in the back that you, usually you get killed when you go in here because there's a bunch of giant rats and stuff. They're all gone. Everyone's gone, and now we can just grab the cookbook six. Now. 
I do want to show you something fun. Let me, um... Alright, let's see if I have any... Do I... I don't know if I have any... I do, I do, I do. Okay, so... These are fire arrows. And I only have ten of them. I forget where we picked those up, but... Uh, I just want to show you something that's kind of cool. Um... So, okay, so first of all, I just got to show you something here. See these barrels? So these barrels have, have lines on the top. Whenever you see a barrel that has like a line on the top, that means it's gunpowder. That's the, that's the mark for barrels filled with gunpowder. The cool thing about barrels filled with gunpowder powder, is if you use a fire arrow... You get a nice boom! It's so fun. It's so much fun. So you can actually use this to blow up enemies. And there are there are quite a few of these fire barrels scattered throughout the game. And they are super fun to use to, uh, to blow up enemies. Um, however, you will run out of fire arrows pretty quickly. And so you have to learn where to buy. There are, there are specific shops where you can buy fire arrows. Um, and you're, I'll let you, uh, I'll let you figure that out. So, anyway, let's go back out here, and, uh, let's get on the horse. Now we're gonna go straight northwest from here. And we're gonna meet another merchant. You can actually see him in the distance. You can see his little campfire over there in the distance. That's where, that's where we're headed. He's a nice guy, and uh, we're gonna buy some stuff from him. Dear customer, yes, right this way, right this way. Welcome, valued customer. Come, trade in our wandering emporium. Okay. Please buy something. I'm hungry. I've been hungry so long. Okay, bro, I got you. First, we're going to sell some of these runes we have. Uh, let's just sell this, we'll sell this, and we'll sell this. Then, we're going to purchase... Uh, what are we purchasing? We're purchasing these smithing stones. We're purchasing this Warrior's Cookbook 5. We're purchasing this Armorer's Cookbook 3. And that's all we need. That's all we need right now. Um, and so there we go. See you, bro. I'll see you later, man. We're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost done. Let's warp back to... One of the first graces we discovered, actually it's the one, one, two, three, four, fifth grace we discovered. Okay, wow, okay. Gate front. This is where we talked to Melina and got our horse. But now, we're gonna actually go inside. We're gonna get on our horse. And we're going to go in here. Now this area is pretty dangerous. We're gonna go right over here and we're gonna hug the left wall. We're just gonna jump. We're just gonna keep jumping. We're gonna hug the left wall. People are gonna be firing arrows at us. There's a giant that jumped down from the from the thing. He's gonna he's pretty dangerous. We're just gonna ride past all these guys. This guy's gonna blow his horn. We don't care, because we're just gonna keep running. Uh, and there's another tree with guess what? Another golden seed. We're gonna grab this. We're gonna go. Over this way. We're not gonna stay exactly on the path. We're gonna go on the side of the path over these rocks. And we're gonna jump up here. Come on, you can do it. There we go. And there we go. There's our next grace. We're gonna grab this grace. We're gonna rest at this grace. And we can upgrade our flasks again. And now we have a total of six, of seven, sorry, seven flasks. We have six FP 
I mean, uh, sorry, we have six HP flasks and we have one FP flask with, for a total of seven flasks. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I think that's a really good start. Should be more than enough to fight the first boss. The first couple bosses, actually. Um, we got a stone sword key. And now we're going to go in and talk to this scared girl here. There's this poor, scared little girl in here. We're going to go talk to her. And try to maybe, uh, I don't know, comfort her or something. Everyone's been grafted. Everyone who came with me. They crossed the sea for me. They fought for me. <laughs> Only to have their arms taken. Their legs taken. Even their heads taken. Taken and stuck to the spider. Yeah, I'm going to skip through some of her stuff. Um, but she gives us this. And then we're going to talk to her again. Heading to Stormvale Castle. Yes, I am. Well, that makes us. I don't have your. It's scary, you know. Yeah, it is scary having your arms and legs cut off. I mean, you know. Um, we're gonna talk to her some more, and she's gonna give us the the jellyfish ashes, which is another spirit summon that you can summon to come help you in boss fights. Um. Let me just. It was a pleasure to see you. Oh, tell them I love them trying again. I think this is it. It was a pleasure to see Yeah, okay, so now she's repeating oh, herself. So, okay. We're good. Yet. Now, let's go get the next thing that's really important that most people miss. Uh, let's get on our horse. We are going to head northeast um, between this cliff and this uh, ruined building. And in the distance, there's a giant over there. And we're going to run past him because he's guarding something that's pretty cool. We're just going to run over here and grab it. Now, this is a Strength Knot Crystal Tear. This gives you plus 10 strength for three minutes. Uh, so it's in a potion form, and you can drink the potion before you go into a boss fight, and you have plus 10 strength. It's amazing. It's like, for three minutes, you have 10 levels of strength higher. It's, it's really nice to help you in boss fights. And, and a lot of people just miss that thing because it's just kind of obscurely over there. Now we're gonna go over here and as soon as we get to this broken building, we're gonna make a U-turn and we're gonna go down and catch up to this other little dirt path here. And now we're going northeast again. We're gonna run past these guys because they want to kill us. We can grab more fire arrows there on the ground. Um, and then there's a grace over here that we want to grab. And we want to grab this grace. And now there's a guy in here and we want to talk to him. This guy. This guy is interesting. Let's talk to him. Not seen you before. Name's Bernard. Tarnished, just like you. Let me ask you something. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go through his little dialogue here and I'm gonna say, Oh yeah, my faith homes holds firm, bro. Yes, your takes me back. Any interest? All I know is now's the time to pass him on. And we're gonna actually learn some actually I'm gonna talk to him a little more first. There's a myriad of battle arts Just to exhaust his dialogue. Fine, that's how I fell in it grounds him. Alright, now we're gonna learn some skills. And the only things we really need from him are um, we want quick step and we want no skill. Um, I'll explain what those do later maybe, but the, eh, it's just, it's important to have both of those for right now. So we're just going to buy those things and we're going to leave. Well, until we meet again. Yeah, bro. I'll see you later. And we're going to go northeast. And there's a little camp here. And of course, you can fight all these guys if you want, but we're not going to. We're just going to run through their camp and piss them off. Um, these guys are all going to get up. They're going to get pissed off. Um, they're all mad. Their dog is mad. We're just going to keep going. And... 
Oh, there's a guy. He's calling out to us. Yeah, we'll help you later, man. First, we're going to rest at our grace here. We're going to get this grace. And we're going to rest at the grace just in case any of those guys from the camp were chasing us. Uh, so now they won't be chasing us anymore. And now we're going to go back and we're going to rescue this guy. Uh, who turns out to be Humpty Dumpty, pretty much. We're going we're gonna to rescue Humpty Dumpty, basically. That's not actually his name, but... You know, I, I, I think of his think of him as Humpty. Oh, my stars! I'm so happy to see you. I am Alexander, also known as the Iron Fish. Sure, Humpty. And as you can see, sure, I'm sure, space. sure. Yeah, I can help you, man. My thanks. Just give and I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it your all. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. So you just. R1 this guy a few times and he gives you a thing and then he's popped out and now he's going to tell you a story. Now I would listen to this guy if, when you're playing the game. Um, I would listen to everything this guy says because he he gives you some clues as to where he's going. He gives me some kind of useless, something useless. I don't know what he's giving me. Oh, some exalted flesh. Okay. I mean, that's fun, but... Uh, it's nice. Let's see what else you have to say. He tells us about himself. But this is where he's going. And this is where you want to head at some point when you're playing the game. We're not doing that in this playthrough. That This is for you to discover on your own. Oh, it does. It sets my breast a flutter. My breast a flutter. Okay, whatever. And I think that's it. I'm heading eastward to Red Main. I've heard there's to be a Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, cool. I'm heading eastward. Yeah, yeah, I got you, bro. Let's get back on our horsey. Alright, this has actually taken quite a bit longer with my narration. Uh, but it's fine. This guy, we can just ignore this guy. He's kind of a weirdo. He's like banging his head against the wall. He, I don't know what's up with him. Grab that. There is another merchant over here and he sells some things. Let's see what he's got. Oh, dear. You might... I... Terribly sorry. Uh, are you here as a customer? Uh, I am, bro. What, that's, you know? He's got some more smithing stones. We're going to get those. He's got a Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 3. So now we have all of them 1 through 6. And I think that's all we need from this guy. Oh, I must apologize. I, 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 I'm afraid of very little to offer. It's okay, bro. I, it's You're good. Now we're going to go um, this way. And we're going to... Oh, hey, Mr. Turtle. Uh, we're gonna go around the graveyard because there are some enemies in there that we don't really want to bother with right now. And we're just gonna go east. We're just going east. And there is our next grace point. And we are going to get this grace, and let's just see where we are on the map. We are up here. And there is a mini-boss in this little uh, swampy, ruined area, and we're going to go fight that mini-boss right now. Because they are going to give us something that we need. So, we're going to run over here, and that is the mini-boss. That is, they are a, uh, some kind of a mariner. They are a ghost mariner. They call other ghosts. Uh, we need to go kill them. So, this is actually a little mini-boss fight. Um, and we're going to call our, our ghost dogs. Oh, where are they? There they are. And I would advise you set up the ghost dogs on a shortcut key, which I forgot to do. Uh, but, um...
And then when you call the ghost dogs, it uses up some of your FP, so then uh, that's why I just re refreshed my FP just now. Um, let's see, what's this over here? Oh, it's another smithing stone. All right. Um, so basically, I'm going to try to stay away from those guys and go fight the guy in the boat. Where did he go? This boss is kind of annoying because he just keeps disappearing and he sends all these he sends all of his minions after you. Ah, ow, bro. Ow. See, I can't where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Okay. Now my ghost dogs are helping me. We're done. Okay. And we got some death root. And we got some more uh, spirit ashes. And uh, now what we're going to do is uh, the last part of this walkthrough guide is we're going to go all the way back up here where we've been before to the bestial sanctum. And now we're going to go meet this guy in the back. Garang. We're going to go meet Garang. Garang. Sorry, I, I couldn't resist. Uh, we're going to give him the death root that we just got. I smell it. Death. Sorry, bro. I didn't shower today. Sorry, man. I, I, please forgive me. Tarnished, bring more deaths. I shall grant thee eye and claw. Feed me more. So we got the claw mark seal, which is nice, and we got the beast eye, which was something we also needed. And that's, uh, that's pretty much it. And I think, I think, yeah, yeah, that is the end of our, uh, that is the end of my walkthrough guide. So, um, what I would recommend at this point is to warp back to the round table hold, which is all the way over here. So I would recommend talking to each one of these NPCs. There's this guy here. There is this guy here. There's this guy sitting down. There's this guy here. Um, what else, what else, what else? Okay, at the, at the, the uh, hallway next to the fireplace, if you go in here, there's a guy there. He is the main uh, weapons smithing guy. He is the guy who will upgrade all your weapons. Um, you can only do your own weapons to like plus two, I think. Um, so he will upgrade them all the way for you. And then there's a woman in here uh, who likes to hug people. She gives out free hugs. I'm not kidding. She gives out free hugs. But you have to watch her because she's she's uh, she's a character. Um, but she's also very interesting, and she has her own quest line. All of these NPCs have their own quest lines. Uh, they can get kind of complex. So you need to come and talk to all of these guys and uh, do, you know, maybe do all of their quest lines. It's possible. You can do all of these people's quest lines. And then there's also the girl back at the, the girl that was all scared that we, that we met back at that little shack. Um, in here, let's see what's in here. I don't think we can go in here yet. Oh yeah, there's this guy. This guy, he's kind of a dick. Um, uh, yeah, so we're just gonna ignore him for now. Um, 
But yeah, you should come talk to all these people and and do all their quest lines or not. Or not. Maybe maybe don't do any of their quest lines. Maybe just maybe just uh, explore the landscape and and you know, ride around and explore the country. It's all up to you. That's what I love about this game. You can do it in any order you want. Well, mostly, mostly you can screw up you can screw up certain characters quest lines if you don't if you do things out of order, but it's it's what it's what it is. I, I love this game because you can just jump back and forth to all these different locations. I can just I can leave here and I can go back uh, to here. It doesn't matter. It's such a cool game. Um, you know. Now I'm back over here. Now, VAR will have some new stuff to tell us. Oh, well done. Well done indeed. You made it through that entire mess all the way to Stormvale. And off you trotted to the round table home. My sincerest congratulations. But how did you find the round table? Oh. You don't have to say it. Before, the round table was chock full of venerated warriors. But now, it's home to puff chests and has beans. I fear you've been terribly disappointed. I don't blame you. But still, the round table has its perks. Why not earn a seat? Fly straight and true, so to speak. Ah, then you're interested. A wise choice indeed. To join the round table proper, you must acquire a great room and request audience with the two fingers in the inner chamber. Two fingers in the they inner chamber. Did you get that? Masters two, two fingers in the inner chamber? Kind uh, hmm. hmm. Where, where have I heard that yes. before? Hey, never mind, visit. never mind. Uh, Riss, how's it going? Uh, thanks for the lurk. Um, I'm actually concluding my narrated uh, walkthrough guide, uh, but I'm going to, uh, I'll be posting it on YouTube, along with my non-rip narrated one that's exactly an hour. This one ended up being like, I think, almost two hours. How long have I been streaming? I've been streaming for, uh, yeah, almost two hours. It's, but I didn't start right away, though, so I think it's probably like an hour and a half. Maybe, I think this walkthrough, my, my one hour walkthrough is an hour and a half because I was narrating and, and um, not just rolling along as quickly as I could. But, um, yeah, you definitely want to come back and talk to this guy at, at each, each time you complete a major uh, milestone in the game. You should come back and talk to this guy. He will disappear from here and, and, and appear at a different location at one point. There are so many things to discover in this game. I've only given you a sliver, a barely a sliver of, of uh, information to get your character started. Let me, uh, let me turn off my cam and uh, show you the stat screen. So here's what we have. Um, we have a Bloodhound's Fang plus two. We have a Longbow plus one. Uh, we have a medium load equip load. We have level 35. We have 25 vigor. We have 15 endurance. We have 18 strength and 20 dexterity. Thanks for watching. I'm still going to stream. Uh, I'm still going to continue my stream, but I'm going to end the uh, I'm going to end this walkthrough here. So this is where my if I upload if I upload this to YouTube later, this is where my YouTube video will end. So I am Rob215x on Twitch. If you want to check me out, I'm usually streaming on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern Ta Standard Time. I think that's minus five uh, UTC. 
uh, or something, whatever. My local time is up there in the right-hand corner of my stream with my local temperature. That's a little plug-in I built because I am a mad scientist. And so um, I do try to make little cool gadgets and stuff here and there. I will be making more of them as time goes on. Uh, and that's how we roll. So I'm probably going to switch to uh, my regular format now. So... Peace!